up y'all, Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders. Welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about this solar kiln and how every woodworker should have one. So on today's show, we're gonna get up close, talk about how it works and how it saves thousands of dollars every year. Let's do it. Since we build a lot of cabinetry and custom furniture in our shop right down the road, and we mill our own lumber with a Woodmiser LT15 portable sawmill, we still needed a way to get lumber bone dry without having to transport it to and pay for a whole separate kiln drying operation. This is my own little solar kiln that I built six years ago. Here's how it works. This solar kiln, this little solar kiln is a passive energy workhorse. In the last six years, we've dried thousands of board feet of the most beautiful lumber right here for free. It saves a tremendous amount of fossil fuel energy by using the sun to evaporate moisture from wood, all the while making it even higher quality and more stable and reliable than standard kiln dried lumber. See the solar kiln collects and intensifies heat from the sun to dry lumber. It's basically a greenhouse with fans placed strategically to move hot air throughout the stack of lumber and remove that moist air as it evaporates from the wood. Solar kiln drying is a much more gentle process that releases moisture slowly, drastically reducing the lumber defects and case hardening. In other words, the solar kiln takes longer, but it yields a much higher quality product and a lot more usable lumber. It takes about 400 hours of sunlight to fully dry a load of lumber in this kiln. Uh, and that's gonna amount to about 25 days in the summer or about two months in the cold winter months. Uh, the more sun that you get, the faster it's gonna dry. This is probably one of the most important things. The quality of lumber coming out of this thing is bar none, way higher than anything that you're gonna get on the shelf. And here's why. Solar kiln drying is a much more gentle drying process that releases moisture slowly drastically reducing lumber defects and case hardening. In other words, the solar kiln takes longer, but it yields much higher quality and quantity of usable lumber. What happens is this thing dries lumber really well during the day and then night, it kind of has a chance to absorb some of that moisture back and kind of settle back in. So it's not just all of a sudden it's stressed out and super dry on the outside and case hardened to where when you rip it in half on a table saw, it splits open from all that tension. The cost to operate the solar kiln is zero dollars. The sun does all of the work. The sun heats up the lumber to make it dry. The fans are direct solar powered fans. And we don't even need a timer or a, a thermostat or anything like that. When the sun's shining, these fans are running. It's a set it and forget it kind of situation. This is super easy. I love this design. These clear twin wall polycarbonate roof panels collect the radiant heat from the sun and trap it inside to help dry that lumber. Now you can see this polycarbonate is, and this roof frame is built on a really steep pitch. This is a 45 degree pitch, a 12 and 12 pitch. Um, and you wanna maximize your solar gain. So what you wanna do is take your latitude above the equator, and in our case in North Carolina, we're 35 degrees latitude. You wanna add 10 degrees to that to maximize your sun for those short winter days. Now, when you design one of these things on your own, it's really important that, that your roof collection area, the square footage of that polycarbonate clear paneling is about one square foot to 10 board feet of lumber that you're gonna dry. This kiln right here can dry between 12 and 1500 board feet of lumber. So that means we need about 150 square feet of roof collection area. We've got about 180. We're a little bit on the high side. We used this scrap rigid foam from an abandoned chicken house to insulate the walls and doors of the solar kiln all the way around to retain heat. It works really well. Blue metal panels in here absorb heat from the sun and radiate it into the space better than any other color of metal, believe it or not. In fact, it's the only roof 
metal color that's not Energy Star rated because it absorbs so much heat, which we don't want in your house, but in this solar kiln, it's perfect. Uh, we also use a scrap piece of metal to cover the lumber on top so that it doesn't get a whole lot of direct solar, which is gonna overheat and stress that lumber that's sitting on top. Um, and it also acts as another thermal mass and thermal collector. In order to circulate the hot air that's generated by this greenhouse effect and to force moisture out of the wood, we use two solar-powered fans. They're direct wired to these little solar panels that you can see on each corner of the building. So that when the sun is shining, it's spinning those fans and moving that hot air down and through the lumber and out those bottom vents. When it's cloudy and cool, those fans don't blow. It just slowly builds heat. Uh, but it still can ventilate. It's just, it doesn't need to push that air through. I designed the kilns with fans positioned in a baffle wall that hangs down from the peak for structural shear strength since there's no other lateral bracing. Um, and especially with these doors being seven feet wide and eight feet tall, that whole thing could just totally topple over in the wind if the doors were open like they are. When the doors are shut, they resist. They kind of hold that whole wall in place. Uh, but that baffle wall just adds some security and it's a great place to mount those fans. Um, and it also gives us a place to hang these curtains you can see. Right now you can't see through to the polycarbonate because um, that canvas is a baffle to force air in through the top vent on the door through the fans and push that hot air from, from inside the collection space in that greenhouse space and down through the lumber because it can't just come straight back out. It's got to go down through the lumber and out the bottom. We use two seven foot wide doors on strap hinges so that way we allow that space to be completely opened up so that we can take a skid steer and forks, a forklift, and load a big pack of lumber in there or pull it all the way out. That way we're not stacking and unstacking manually too much. Um, and it's just even if we do manually stack in there, it gives you room. It's 14 feet wide. I made the whole thing outside dimensions 15 feet wide so that you have basically, you're really only going to ever dry 12 foot lumber. So that gives you what 14 feet inside, that gives you a foot on either side of a 12 foot board to move around and stack lumber manually. This lumber is ready to go. It's already reached its maximum bone dry 6% moisture content. It's not gonna get any drier. I'm just gonna keep it in there so that it doesn't gather more moisture sitting in an open air situation until we finish up the cabinet job that we're working on right now in our shop. And that's really it, man. Set it and forget it. So let's talk about how much it costs to build this thing. And this little solar wood kiln was built from rough sawn lumber and scrap foam and it cost about $1,500 for me to build it. It literally paid for itself within the first load of lumber. And right now it's just sitting here like a little money machine, helping increase our profit margins like you wouldn't believe. For example, rough sawn red oak costs about 70 cents a board foot when it's fresh cut green lumber, right off the sawmill. But once it's kiln dried, and graded, the market price jumps to $2.80 a board foot, which means that that red oak behind me stacked up in this kiln is worth almost $3,000. That's four times what I paid for it. For generations, woodworkers all over the world have been using small solar dryers to create furniture grade wood. Not only can you save yourself tons of money on your personal woodworking projects, this solar kiln right here is a money machine. You stack rough sawn lumber in it, wait a month, and you quadruple your money. It's amazing. The cost to operate this thing is nothing. It's literally saving us thousands of dollars every year. Plus, we save a couple barrels of oil for every load of lumber we dry ourselves with the power of the sun. So, I did a little research, and it kind of blew my mind. According to a 1992 U.S. Forest Service survey of large-scale wood kiln dryers, Approximately 30 billion board feet of lumber is processed every year. And with conventional fuel burning kilns, that equates to about 2 billion gallons of natural gas and petroleum, which also releases an insane amount of CO2 and sulfur dioxide into our atmosphere, which we don't need. In fact, we need to be taking it out of our air. We can save every bit 
of that with the solar kiln drying technology, which is exactly why we need a full large scale transition to solar lumber kiln drying operations. Imagine for a second that the cost of fuel inflates like six, eight, ten bucks a gallon, like it's done in the past, and like it will again as we start running out of fuel. When that happens, the cost of lumber goes way up. Why? Most lumber is dried in kilns that use coal or natural gas to heat air and literally bake the moisture out of wood. It takes somewhere between three and six million BTUs of energy to kiln dry a thousand board feet of lumber. That's just the lumber in this one kiln. Three to six million BTUs. To give you some perspective, that equates to about 45 gallons of propane to kiln dry this little bit of wood. That's insane. Small shops like ours at Heirloom Builders can make a bunch of money over time buying rough cut lumber, drying at our own little kiln, and get the best lumber, help reduce our emissions, and save the planet one board at a time. Even if you don't need a constant supply of lumber, this kiln can dry your firewood, it can dry your kitchen herbs and medicine, fruit, and so much more. So if you got the space, build a solar kiln and start turning green wood into dry lumber and cash money. As always, y'all, thanks for watching. If you got something out of this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, good luck and peace out.